and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is about how I learned to embrace and love the color green. About 18 years ago, I just couldn't wrap my head around the color green. It was too acidic for me, too raw, just, I just couldn't find it. And so I decided one day in the studio to face my fears. And all I did all day long was paint with the color green, all the different kinds of greens, and made my own greens, you know, black and yellow and things like that. And I spent all day using an awful lot of white with it on this particular painting 18 years ago on watercolor paper that I eventually glued onto this canvas way back then. And you know what? I learned to love the color green and all its subtleties. So here's some more into the advancement. Of, well, in fact, here's my latest green painting in the show uh, about manna from heaven. You may have seen it on one of my earlier Bob Blasts. I continue working with different kinds of greens, cool greens, warm greens, all the different kinds of green. And I always put in a spot that is the focal point in every one of them. Bam, which was the complementary color. Bam, right over there. Bam way back there in 18 years ago. Let me show you some more of the things I like to play with using the color green. So color coming right out of the tube is pretty raw for me. I'll use it, but I need to modify it. So here are the colors that I like to use. I have a middle green, like a cadmium green. Here's a cadmium green deep, okay? And I'll squeeze it out. There's my deep. Here comes the, whoa, right out of the tube, middle green. I also like to use yellow and a little bit of black in here. Mixing these two colors, believe it or not, gives me those gorgeous, gorgeous green, more like a sage green. And then when you add white to it, oh man, here we go. Look at that color. Ooh, more natural, huh? So we have three different values here going, ready to go. Now, let me show you how I paint with all of this good stuff. So the way I faced my fears was to paint only with those colors all day long. As I mentioned, here's what I did. I took the black and yellow, mixed it all up with a lot of white. That became my neutral tone. Look at that beautiful color, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of black in here, kind of a sage green and a lot. Oh man, what a color. I make sure that's over the entire canvas. There you go, the mid-tone. Now, when I went back in and used the pure colors, oh man, they just pop. Might be hard to see it here on the video, but oh, they just see how they just pop off that off the background because it's become muted. I'm gonna add a little bit more black in here. If I, now I'm gonna start painting. This is called painting. At least now you know how it gets started. Look at that. More white in here. Oh yeah. I just want to let you see the playfulness. Scraping, scraping and scratching. <laughs> Sometimes even on the canvas. Here we go, here we go. This is the kind of play you should spend all day, kind of mindless, kind of mindless stuff. Seeing what you can do and play with something you say, I just don't like those colors. By the end of the day, I guarantee you, You'll love those colors, but you were probably asking yourself, what's with the red on the table? Well, it's the complementary color of green. So this would be my highlight or the focal point, right? So here we go. Here's some red, good pyro red light. And obviously this is gonna be the focal point. Whoa, look at this. It just pops. Since I still have some of it on my brush, I'm gonna put it somewhere else, but tone it way down. Tone it way down. See how the whole thing starts to fall, fall together? Yeah. But you don't want to put a whole lot of focal point like somewhere else. It takes away from the other focal point, obviously. But so you tone it down. I will use it, but I make sure I tone it down. I'm gonna kick up this red even more. Oh. Hope this helped. At least this is how I have fun. Make sure you paint all day long, keep your brushes wet. See you on the next Bob Blast. And some more good workshop news. San Miguel de Ente in Mexico, can't wait. It's March 19th, 25th 
And the news about this one is, first of all, it's a great place, right? One opening, one more opening. So you better kind of come down to Mexico with me. We're gonna have a great time, great accommodations. And we've just added one more new workshop here in my studio. And that's called the five day, five days, loosen up in my studio. And that's July 26th to the 30th. If you wanna know more about my workshops, please go to robertburridge.com for the full workshop schedule. That's pretty amazing. I can't wait. We're gonna be doing a lot of great stuff and I can't wait to see you there. See you on the next Bob Blast.